Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing a first shots video with the Glock 43, the long awaited single stack nine millimeter pistol from Glock. Now this one, I literally just picked it up probably 40 minutes ago on the way out here to the range. I threw a little CLP on it, loaded it up with some Minuteman munitions and got to work on some steel. So what we're gonna do today is just do some first shots impressions, do some more shooting with it, get some rounds down range, sort of break the gun if you will, not that Glock should need a break in, but uh, we'll keep trying to ring the steel a little bit and uh, get into some of my initial impressions on the gun. Coming up next. Now, one thing to mention is that it does come with two magazines. They're both six rounds, so it gives you uh, six plus one, total, seven total, I should say, uh, capability. And uh, it comes with one that has a little finger groove like we have here, you can see, and one that doesn't flush fit. Um, I can tell you I've been uh, shooting pistols with and without the little pistol pinky extensions, I should say, uh, for a while. I really kind of prefer no extension, but I know it's sort of a personal preference thing. And it just takes a little bit of time getting used to shooting with uh, without your pinky on the gun if you're new to it. So uh, that's one thing though that I know a lot of people will like. A lot of people will like that extension. So certainly one thing that a lot of people like about single stack guns is that they're very easy to conceal. We just had it in a small the back holster there and this one's actually made by Warthog Gear and it's actually designed for my Glock 42 which I think you can actually see labeled on the back right there if the camera will actually zoom in. So actually designed for the Glock 42. We'll show you some pictures here of this gun side by side with the Glock 42 as well as the Smith & Wesson Shield. So uh, I know a lot of folks are very interested in the size comparison of them. And uh, really, it seems to do pretty well in terms of size comparison with other guns that it competes with out there on the market. Obviously, versus the Shield and the XDS, you're giving up around with the standard magazine. That said, being a Glock, there's going to be tons of aftermarket support for it. You can pretty much bank on it. And uh, plus one, maybe even plus two extensions certainly are coming down the road. <laughs> When I came out here today, I brought with me two full mags and a 100 round box of ammunition. So all that is about to be expended. This is the last mag. So 112 rounds. So far, we've had zero malfunctions. So certainly, at least in this sample case, the uh, initial results for reliability are good. That said, we've only put the full metal jacket stuff through it. And, uh, and the next time we come out, we're going to do some accuracy testing, uh, more rapid fire, some testing with hollow points all the other stuff that you'd expect in a full review. Today, we just wanted to get you guys an initial look at it so you could know what to expect. And certainly, accuracy, I've been firing at about 15 yards here, is good. We're shooting at eight inch to shoot steel.com plates and I've literally missed one. That said, I'm not really speeding along and trying to do rapid fire, but missed one shot. So at 15 yards, eight inches with a single stack, carry oriented gun, certainly is a good practical accuracy. But um. Initial thoughts. Initial thoughts are the triggers better than I expected. The Glock 42 trigger is a little bit on the heavy side. This one is a little bit lighter. That said, it uses a similar style connector. Um, it also uses a similar style striker safety. So those things sort of led me to believe that maybe the trigger would be more in line with the Glock 42. My initial impressions are that it's not. It uh, feels pretty similar right around the six pound range uh, when I measured it on the way out here because um, they do have a uh, trigger scale over at my FFL. We measured it and uh, it's just over six pounds. So certainly not too shabby for this kind of gun. So the trigger is better than I expected. Decent reset as you'd expect from a Glock as well. So that's that. This particular model is made in Austria, so it has a serrated trigger, unfortunately. And while it does have some of the Gen 4 texturing, it does not have any replaceable back straps. So that's something just for you guys to keep in mind there. This one also has the Glock sights. I do not like those at all. I tend to find them to be very slow. We will be replacing these probably by the next time you see this gun in action. So uh, that's about it. Initial results are good. I'm happy to report that because uh, obviously I'm sort of a guinea pig for a lot of folks out here with this gun. 
and uh, so far so good. We'll keep putting some rounds through it and uh, we'll bring this one out to the range probably the next few times we come out to up that round count and uh, just ensure proper function as you'd expect from your Glock pistols. And uh, if it functions well, I can say with the size and the recoil impulse of it, it'll probably be going into my carry rotation, but we got a lot of rounds to go before we get to that point. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I truly appreciate it. And uh, we hope to see you guys in the next video.